Hey, well, it was a really good session yesterday. Uh, just to recap, uh, we look at the footage on the top left and where the problems are arising during your golf swing. First of all, from quite a good setup, left hand grip's a little bit stronger than orthodox, but, but very much acceptable. The takeaway is okay, followed by the club getting a little bit too far behind you at that point. You can see there that you're establishing a little bit of a bold left wrist as you reach waist level. Then as we set the club, you can see there are a lot of bowing in the left wrist, resulting in a very flat left wrist at the top. That doesn't fit in well with someone who's got a strong grip. The flat left wrist is going to close the club face. Added to that, the fact that you've got a strong grip, you end up with a very, very shut club face at the top. If we look at that contrast to Zach Johnson, another strong grip player, take away on the inside as you'd expect. Club kept a little bit more in front of him, but the key area here is the set. You can see though that there's more cupping in the left wrist as he reaches chest height. Consequently, as he gets to the top, that cupping remains and the club face is in a much more acceptable position. From there, he's going to unwind his body aggressively through the hitting area, presenting the club back down in front of him as he approaches impact. With yourself, because the club's too hooded, you've got to try and get the club more on the inside in an attempt to stop the ball going left. So there's where the hook comes from, or the big push to the right. The club is rerouted on the inside. So now you're coming away from the inside with a club face that wants to shut. Not a very good recipe. On the way through, there's a flipping of the hands. And again, that's more of a release you would see on a weak grip player. Arms out in front of you, forearms rotating. Whereas what we see with Zach Johnson is the arms working more in sympathy with the body. As the body unwinds, arms work across the body and the blade is held square through impact. The good news is one very simple drill and that is to teach yourself or to learn how to hit the ball straight with a split handed grip. As you can see here the split handed grip sets the club in a much better angle with more cupping in the left wrist. As you then approach the top the club face in a much more acceptable position than it was on your initial footage, allowing you to then unwind the body. If we don't unwind the body in this drill, we're going to snap hook it left every time. So it really is a good drill for getting a better position at the top, a little bit more cup in the left wrist halfway back, and importantly, a much more passive release, which suits the grip that you've got. If we should have a quick look at that release, if we look at Zach Johnson through the hitting area, we can see that as he comes through, Good rotation of the body, very little rotation of the forearms, and you can see there even at that point is really trying to keep that right arm from wrapping over, stopping the blade from shutting down. If you have a little visit my YouTube channel later, have a scan through, look for the weak versus strong footage that I put up there that will illustrate the difference between the two releases. Work on this, Lloyd, and I'm sure in a couple of weeks' time you'll have a much tighter shot pattern, a much more desirable trajectory on your shots, and you'll be enjoying your shots, your golf, much, much more. Good luck. Well done.